Hey there, welcome back to my channel. We are gonna take a very old school today and do a haul video. It has been a while, I think. I actually haven't watched my videos in a while, so now like when I'm done stuff, I've been like gone for a hot minute. I'm back, I've always been here. I'm fine, nothing happened if any of you were wondering. It's just, I just haven't been good at uploading and filming and my eyes just been really bothering and I know I say that every video, but like when you don't feel good about yourself, you don't wanna do anything. P.S. It's Thanksgiving, it's Thanksgiving day. I don't know when I'm gonna put this up, hopefully tomorrow or Saturday, so very soon. Thanksgiving, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is going on in the background if you hear anything. Anthony's out there making pretzels. We're gonna go to my sister's here in like a little bit and then we're gonna go to his um, stepdad's family's Thanksgiving party and then tomorrow we're gonna go to his mom's Thanksgiving like with his mom and stepdad. So it's gonna be a lot of Thanksgiving. Maybe I'll vlog some of it. I don't know. <laughs> Based on prior experience, I probably won't. But anyways, um, yes, I'm Maybe I'll show you an outfit of the day. I'm actually gonna show you this vest because it's part of the haul because that's what this video is about. This is a first going into TJ Maxx and Marshall's haul. I did some damage there, including this bag. I actually used to have this bag, but it was stolen from me. Well, like I watched them take it, they just never returned it. And I love it because there's just like so many adorable dogs on it. <laughs> we'll start with what's on my bought it and that is this thread supply it's thread and supply it's just a vest it zips up um yeah it's very fluffy and cozy and i love it and it was only $19.99 and i did see this at nordstrom literally the week before i bought this for 50 something so i thought it was a very good deal i think nordstrom does have them on sale at the moment but it was still cheaper than what i would have bought it for there so I'm happy. I love wearing this to school. It's very cozy. Okay, had to do a brief intervention. My camera died. I'm getting toasty. Chester went in the closet. So if you see that opening, he's in there. That's number one, this little vest. And then to go with, because you guys know, like my whole life, I feel like there's just fuzzy, furry things everywhere as far as like my home decor and my style goes. I got another fuzzy sweater. This is only $16. Anthony does not like this. I actually didn't try this on. Um, so when I got home, I tried it on. I'm not sure if I like it. I don't know. It's not the most flattering thing in the world. It's just so soft. And I just see myself wearing this to school. But yeah. I thought this was just very, 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 very soft. I think I'm gonna keep it. It's super inexpensive. And I honestly, even if it doesn't look good, like as far as making my body look good, I'm gonna feel good. And that's what it's really all about. Oh, I forgot I bought this. Um, this is actually about to go under the sweater because if I get hot, I'm gonna wanna take it off. It's just a plain basic white um, V-neck long sleeve. I got it in a size large. I think it still looks a little small. Like this, I, it's from the junior section. I probably like, and all honestly, I like things really oversized, so like extra, extra large based on their sizing probably would have my ideal fit. It was only $7.99, very soft. I haven't tried it on. I'm hoping it's not like super see-through. I know I'm gonna have to wear like a nude brawl underneath it, but like, We'll see, it could be something I have to return. I don't know. A couple bralettes. These were a variety pack, two for $9. And I really loved how far they went down. I just think that's my ideal because when it cuts in underneath and you get that like, I don't know, like fat roll right under, I don't like that. So like the longer and like the more seamless it is, the more comfy I feel and it's just, the reason I don't like wearing bras and journals, this is has zero seams whatsoever as far as like there's no wires and it. it's just so comfy. And there's a dark plum one too. So I'm happy. I got it in a size medium retails for $36 and I bought it for $9.99. Good deal. I was hoping that would go underneath of the white shirt, the nude bralette. Um I, I guess I got another one. I haven't opened up this bag. I bought this like last week and I was like, I'm not gonna touch anything until I do a haul. Um, they had a bunch of airy stuff there. So I got another bralette. I don't know if this is gonna fit me because it's like a 34 band and I really like mediums and like 36s where it doesn't cut in. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I have a wider, what's that called? Um, what is, I'm, I know this, I know this, Brittany. What is this called? Rib cage. I have a very like wide rib cage. It's not even like a fat rib cage, it's just wide, you know? Um, so I like things to fit it. 
and I don't know, this looks small. If it's too small, I have people that I can give it to. It's only $4. This is $4. And then it's got a few beauty things. Oh my gosh. They had so much expensive designer beauty stuff when I went to TJ Maxx last week. You need to run and see if they still have stuff left because I was seeing Marc Jacobs, Kat Von D, Becca, Anastasia. I don't know, like my mind was blown. Oh, MAC Cosmetics? My TJ Maxx, I don't live in an area where I would get like a lot of nice stuff because like usually give nicer stuff to like more higher income areas and that's not where I live. So I'm like, when I saw it, I was just mind blown and none of it had been touchy. I was, a, I spent two hours in there looking through everything, seeing if anything had been touched. Like the Marc Jacobs set, I almost bought I had it in my cart and it was, 40 or $39 for like a big eyeshadow palette, an eyeliner, a mascara, um, a lipstick. It was a very good deal and it hadn't been touched. And but then like, I was like, Brittany, you don't need it. So I didn't buy it, but I ended up not getting any of the really nice. I got a few things. I'll show you. The first thing I got is this. I needed a, um, this is by Chi, the 44 Iron Guard. It smells really good. I've had this like multiple times before and the Iron Guard I was going through by Kenra, the cap broke off and I couldn't use it anymore. So, um, and it was almost gone anyways. It was probably expired. I've been using it for a very long time. But this takes forever to go through. So I bought that. That was only $9, $11.99. Actually, it wasn't that great of a deal because Ulta has it on sale a lot, but I needed it and it was there. So I was like, I'm buying it. Oh, this is not, um, I didn't buy this. Pixie sent me another PR package. It was kind of random because like, well, it's, there's two things in here, but they just gave a ton of samples of each. So I'm going to just give it away to like friends and family. I thought the package was like adorable, but just a billion glow tonics in here. And then also um, a few of the rose tonics. So they give these a lot in PR. I like them. I just don't have a need for this many travel sizes. So it is the season of giving. So that's where they will go. But I wanted to show that to you guys. Oh, I got a wet detangle brush because my brush is looking really, really grimy and I've had it for years and I thought it was time to retire it. So I picked up a new one and it was only like $4.99, $5.99. Good deal. Don't like the colors, but it was on sale and I didn't want to buy one for $20. Oh, I also got a Real Techniques. This is the Beauty Blender. I actually had this. They gave it to me in PR, the... It was like grayish one, the exact same one. This is just the pink version. This was at TJ Maxx for $3.99. And I liked that one and I don't have it anymore because I got rid of a lot of stuff from this eye issue. So I figured once the eye goes away, finally, I'll just like wipe everything out, start brand new. I'm gonna start with this before I have a beauty blender on lineup, a brand new one. And I'm not gonna use it until I know for sure it's not coming back. So this is a good like, waiting period beauty blender oh i got um bare minerals so this is they had a ton of bare minerals um bare skin sheer sun 7.99 i've been watching people who use these like sun serums it's not even it's not like foundation it's just like a glowy bronze and they use it um, and it looks really pretty in the summertime when you don't want to wear like makeup but you also don't want to have just like you want to kind of even out your complexion. So I bought this and it was only $7.99. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I'll let you guys know when it's time right now. Like I'm too pale to wear it, but hopefully in the summer that will be nice. And then I just got this Becca Aqua Luminous Beige Foundation. Perfecting foundation. Um, this is the lightest one they had. They had a ton and this is the lightest one they had. And I didn't swatch it because I didn't want to be that person. And uh, it is dark for my skin. I'm actually wearing it today. It doesn't look that bad. And that's because I mixed it with like a really, really light foundation. And this is how it, I think it actually looks in the camera it looks good. I don't know how it looks in person. I don't know. Um, it was very like luminous, which really my skin's very oily. So I don't know how they'll turn out. We'll see if I vlog later tonight and I look like an oily, greasy monster. I'm gonna blame it on this, but until then. Right now, I think it looks pretty, but again, it will change. This was only, oh, only, this was 12, 12 dollars cheap for Becca, but it's a little more expensive than I was thinking I had bought it for. And then, why is this video taking 
forever. I apologize. I think my battery might die again. Oh, I need to go faster. I have not filmed in a while, so I'm just ranting. Um, I don't know what brand this is. It's called The Fierce. Is that the brand? I don't know. Mm, maybe... Well, anyways, it's five mascaras. They do five different things. I honestly was just going to go to Dollar Tree and just pick up five mascaras, but then this was, like, the same price, so... And there was a bunch of different ones. Again, these are tester mascaras. You guys know my L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly is my diehard. They had a bunch of those at TJ Maxx, though, but they didn't have any in the non-waterproof. So if you guys have been wanting to try the butterfly in waterproof, they had a bunch of them for three bucks. I didn't buy any, though, because, like, it is hell to get off of the waterproof ones. But, yeah, these are just um, $5.99. I got five of them. It was basically, like, a dollar twenty each, so... I decided to go with that rather than the Dollar Tree, although they have Wet n Wild, usually a mascara at my Dollar Tree, so again, while my eye is clearing up, when, it, when I think it's clear and done, I'm going to start using those, so that way I can be like one and done on those mascaras, just to test it out. And the last thing I got is by Wet n Wild, and this is the Tam and Define, it's just a clear eyebrow and eyelash gel. And I got it for my eyebrows. This is actually from Dollar Tree. It was a dollar. I just threw it in here because I figured you guys would want to see it. Is that, oh no, I forgot. <laughs> I made a Victoria's Secret order. I haven't opened it yet because I've been waiting for you guys. Because again, I just, I don't like opening stuff. Not on camera anymore. I think there's, well there are gifts in here. So not all of it's for me. That's fine, um, Cassandra, my sister, does not watch my videos, so that's not a problem. The first thing is a pair of underoonies because, oh, I don't remember buying these. Um, just camo printed, very adorable. I had to get rid of a few pairs of under this week. Don't want to go into why. <laughs> I did need some backups. Um, oh, that's cute. This is PJ's. I always get a new pair of PJs during Black Friday, Thanksgiving time. It's not Black Friday, but I figure that, oh my gosh, these are so, oh my gosh. What? You guys. Usually the pink collection pajamas are not soft. These are so soft. Oh my God, I'm going to love this. Look how cute that is. It is like striped. I bought Chester matching pajamas. So soon I will show you guys that. I think I got a large... Yeah, because I like, it's supposed to be fitted. I just don't want it to be fitted. So, oh my gosh, I love this. I'm so happy about that. You have no idea. Oh, I don't remember buying these. I was just thinking I need to buy slippers. Did I buy these? Or did I get these for free? Anyways, <laughs> they remind me of Clueless. Do you guys might not be old enough to know? Some of you might not be. The Clueless is a staple movie from my childhood and I think these are so fun and they match look at that the lavender oh my gosh this is gonna be the cutest little outfit ow Katie no sorry there's bagging which means Chester wants to jump up um this is not the color I thought it was I bought this for like just casual days when we have like school dress down days because burnt orange is like one of the colors. It's orange, but it's, I don't know. I feel like it's not, it's kind of pink. I don't know. I might still wear it. It's just like a very casual, comfy shirt. We'll see. I might return that. Ooh, more underoonies. I don't need to show you guys. They're just, um, leopard. Wild. What's this? I think this might be a gift for my sister because I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, sports bra. Oh yeah, I did get her that. They had them for like 10 bucks, which is a very good deal. This reminds me of a cheerleading shirt that I used to have. Very cute. She'll like that. I'll like that. I'm not going to keep it, don't worry. Kitty, please do not eat this. Oh, what's this? Oh, I think this is another thing for her. 
Yes. Oh, I like this one. I like this color. This is just like, whoa, like just a really pretty green color. And on the back, it just has like a little emblem. My sleep pajama pants, same exact things. I think I got a large in that as well. A $40 or $20 rewards card. Um, more underoonies. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I feel like I, I don't know when the last time I did one was, but I haven't sat down like this in a while. Okay, I love you very much. I will see you guys super soon. Maybe I'll vlog some of today and tomorrow, but we'll see. Don't hold me accountable. Okay, we'll be back.